probably heard the acronyms LGBT and LGBTQ. Each letter carries a significant meaning and it keeps changing, so let's break it down. First of all, it's all about inclusion and taking ownership of one's gender and sexual identity. Until around the 1960s, the word gay was used to describe anyone who did not fit into the default societal idea of heteronormativity. The community then started to embrace the gay identity with pride. It's since evolved into more specific words for different identities, like lesbian and bisexual and transgender. In recent years, the Q was added to the acronym to represent people who might not identify as LGBT, and it stands for queer and sometimes questioning. The Q also acknowledges a fluidity in gender and sexuality. However, it's not used by all members of the LGBT community since it was once used as a way to put down people. As the acronym continues to evolve, the plus sign was added to acknowledge the limitless sexual and gender identities used by members of the community. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Bottom line, it's all about inclusion and respect. It is all about inclusion and respect. It is Pride Month, and we've got Barton Bailey and Robert Kimes here with us this morning. Good to have you guys. Good to have Glad you. Thank you so here. much yeah. for being on Domingo Live. Let's talk about all the amazing events happening this month for Pride Month. Sure, we have had a whole host of events already. We kicked off Pride Month at the very beginning of June, and so um, we have had all sorts of things going on, and including uh, an out professionals group. We just had a 5K run um, there, and a whole host of other events, some of which Robert can talk about. Yeah, we've had everything from poetry nights to comedy nights to movie nights, all kinds of things to just bring our community all together. So um, like Barton said, we had our very first 5K uh, uh, yesterday morning That's so amazing. we were super excited we had a great turnout about 200 people came out so let's, it was awesome let's talk about the issue that a lot of folks and questions that people may have out there and why pride month is so important you know, for me, Pride Month is really important because it's a way for our community to come together as a whole and um, to show that we, um, uh, to show respect, to show acceptance for all folks, to provide a little education about who the LGBTQ community is about. Uh, and so for me, for all of those reasons, uh, Pride Month is important. What oh, about yeah. you, Robert? Yeah, uh, Pride Month is just a great way for uh, LGBT individuals and allies to all come together to promote the community and help, you know, bring awareness and acceptance. Um, and just by having all these events one after another is a great way to do that, to bring everyone together. And I know that June, like you mentioned before, full of events that anybody can take part of because everybody's invited. Everybody's invited to these events. Um, but how can we as a community continue to support the LGBTQ community throughout the the year, not just June. Uh, and that's a great question. I think one of the ways is that we can do that just through our interactions, um, just um, through the friends and family that you know who are LGBTQ to be supportive of them uh, and um, to, to show your love for them. The issue has become politicized in today's environment. How do you respond to folks who ask questions, who want to know, why is it that it's become politicized? Why is it that, that uh, it's gotten a lot of negativity well, yeah, it's uh, it all just builds up and builds up and builds up, and a lot of voices that are negative get a platform with social media and stuff, and then that spirals into getting votes and things, so it's really all about attention. So mm -hmm. if we can raise the voices of the LGBT community as well and get that community more attention as well, then we're able to combat the negative and the politicizing of it. So, And, and you're doing it through education so that they can understand. You cannot have a, 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 an informed opinion unless you do research and understand mm -hmm. what it's all about. Yeah, one of those uh, ways we help with education, we provide free safe zone training for businesses throughout the Coastal Bend. Um, we are able to go and give a presentation to groups and say, uh, what do the letters of the LGBT alphabet mean? You know, mm -hmm. um, How can you make your workspace a safe place for the LGBT community? Not just your staff members, but visitors as well. So It's really about cultural competency and uh, you know, any um, 
part of our Coastal Bend culture that we can embrace and understand better, you know, I think is helpful and informative. And so this is really about cultural competency within the LGBTQ community. And the LGBTQ community, they promote love. Mm -hmm. That's what they promote. And for those viewers that are watching right now, the Lingua Live, maybe they have questions. Maybe they would need a, we support. How can they reach out to, to you? Yeah, so they can uh, give us a call at the Coastal Bend Pride Center or follow our Facebook and Instagram pages. We have a parent support group too for any parents that need some support if they have a child that just came out and they don't really know what to do. We have a weekly meeting that we can you know provide some support and help along there. We have other uh, support groups that meet all throughout the week and once a month and so follow us on our Facebook pages and uh, check out cbpridecenter.org for all the information. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here on the Mingo Live and making sure that our community knows that the support is there. We do have it here in South Texas. Definitely. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you, for your thank time. you all. Yes. Right. Thank you. We'll be right back with more of the Mingo Live after this. Thank you.